What shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world, loses his own soul? What shall man give in exchange for his soul? So tonight, folks, we come out to remind once again our community that there is a God that created all things and that one day you will uh, answer back to him. You don't live to yourself and to, you don't die to yourself. God has given man a free will choice, but he also he reaches out to men through preaching. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them which believe. God commended his love toward us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. We don't bring our own word. We bring the words of Jesus. He said, you must be born again. It says being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God. So it's the word of God that quickeneth. It's the word of God that makes men whole. It brings salvation to man. Those that believe will be saved, and those that believe not will be damned. So God is not slack. God is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness. See, the Word of God is not just a book, folks. It's the living words of God. It's God's plan of salvation in there, but it records all kinds of things. It records death and life. But because death came and sin came upon all men, the Lord Jesus Christ still, still today, gives life, folks. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as it is appointed unto men, it ha men have an appointment with God. They're going to live so many days on this earth. Thank you. They're going to live so many days. God already has an appointed time that you're going to live on this earth, and he gives you that time to seek him. He gives you, he gives you your own free will to discover life as you as you see it, but he also comes and visits you with the truth of God so that you could make a decision of whom you want to follow in your life. Because we know that the God of this world has come to blind the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. So... The enemy of God wants to blind men's eyes from seeing the truth of God. And they can laugh all they want now, but that's really just a nervous laugh because the Word of God says that we know what things soever the law saith, it saith to them that are under the law, that every mouth might be stopped and all the world will become guilty before God. So the very Word of God is going to bring judgment on men the very word of god the very word of god is going to bring judgment on men but you can be saved by that very word you don't have to be judged by the word you can be saved by the word i'll tell you folks that's a good that's a good deal to be saved by the word rather than to be judged by the word See, the Word of God says, being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the Word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. So that's a, a true statement, folks, that this Word that we're giving out, it's not, just, uh, it's not just a vain Word. It's a living Word. Now, we have pamphlets that just have portions of that Word, but we're preaching that word so that it would go inside of you and it would bear fruit because that word quickens. It takes a, a lost man and transforms him into a, into a new creature in Christ. 
See, folks, we're not just talking about religion here. We're talking about a real life spirit that enters into you and changes you. When you realize who God is, you realize who God is, and then God gives you a spirit to enable you to live for Him and to uh, do His purpose in life. So that's what the Lord Jesus Christ that's the purpose for the Lord Jesus Christ coming to earth to save men. It says, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for Thou hast created all things, and for Thy pleasure they are and were created. So God created all things for His pleasure. Hey, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. So God created all things. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. So... God created all things for His pleasure, folks. But what happened is sin entered into the world and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men. But Jesus said you must be born again.